Hello and welcome to our monthly DuPage County and Chicagoland area real estate market update. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think there are two things of importance that really stand out right now in the real estate market. One is the possible likely end to the real estate recession which began last June and the other thing which we'll talk about right now is the Fed meeting on Wednesday. So the Federal Reserve Open Markets Committee met on May 3rd and did pretty much what everybody had expected them to do. And that was raise the base interest rate 25 basis points, which in non-Fed speak is a quarter of a percentage point. Uh, from 5%, it is now 5.25%. This move by the Fed, as anticipated, had very little effect on the mortgage rates. Um, may change as, as time goes on, but right now, as of yesterday, the 30-year fix was down uh, four basis points, which is four one hundredth of a percent from the day prior, and the 15-year fix was up four basis points. And uh, as of today, um, which is one day later, um, it looks like the 30-year fixed is up about four uh, four basis points from where it was on Tuesday. So very little effect on mortgage rates. This was uh, well anticipated and pretty much baked into current uh, mortgage rates. So uh, no one anticipated any big change to rates and uh, so far we haven't seen any. So the second big story from last week or so is the apparent end to the recession in the residential real estate market. So the other thing to come out of the Fed meeting and possibly more important thing is that they did hint in their statement that uh, this would likely be the last uh, interest raise rate uh, for this cycle. So um, this might be as high as, as their rates get. And, you know, some people, experts in the field are saying they may be uh, having a lower rate sooner than later. Um, we'll see. I guess it probably earliest would be at the end of the year. But um, given some of the stress that these interest rates are causing on uh, regional banks and, and uh, other institutions, it, it's you know, it's possible that we'll see them back off on this uh, a little bit sooner than uh, everyone thought. The latest uh, Case Shiller 20 City Home Price Index, uh, which is was released. Um, in April, it's uh, the February uh, index, and it uh, it indicates that home prices across the country are up 0.2%. Uh, and this is the first time we've seen a raise in, in prices, uh, like I said, since last June. Well, you might say one month does not make a trend, and well, that's true. But the Case Shiller index is actually the average of closing prices at the end of three months. So uh, the last index to re be released covers December, January, and February. So this is actually a great indicator of where the market is at. Another indication uh, of the bottoming of the housing market is that Morgan Stanley released a, uh, an analysis uh, last week in which they stated that uh, they see the housing market as having bottomed. They had expected a uh, 4% decline in prices uh, since last year, and that's pretty much had happened. Um, with prices beginning to rise now, uh, they, you know, in that uh, piece they state they don't see a huge recovery, but they see things stabilizing and start to move and are moving in an upward direction. And uh, according to them, uh, they say that this uh, indicates that we also may see a soft landing for the economy. Um, you know, there's a lot of other factors that play into that, so I don't know. But housing is 40%. Of the US economy so as they say as goes housing goes the economy so it's definitely a good indicator so what does all this mean to you well if you're a homeowner it means that your house is appreciating and you are generating positive equity in your home which is a beautiful thing as a home seller well it means you may receive multiple offers when you list your house um, your house will probably spend a little less time on the market and you should be able to get a little bit better price than you had. Uh, one note for sellers is the uh, homes that are selling the fastest are the homes that are move-in ready. So um, finish up those projects and you know do as much decluttering and 
uh, you might want to look into staging and, and some other things. Curb appeal uh, efforts always uh, pay off pretty well. So in this market, that's uh, really important. If you're a home buyer, well, it's, it's a seller's market. There's still considerably less inventory than we need. It means that there's more buyers than there are sellers. And it doesn't, you know, until interest rates start coming down, and people sitting on 3% mortgages decide that they want to move up or downsize or relocate. Um, there's inventory is not going to come up that fast and they can't build houses fast enough to make that make up that. So some tips for home buyers, um, have your financing straight, have everything set, have a letter of pre-approval, um, any documentation, anything you need. Um, make sure that you're all set ready to make an offer when you find something you like you want to be able to move on it quickly because there's going to be some competition out there you know another thing is make sure that you really understand you know what's available in your price range and work within your price range um, as an agent of over 20 years uh, one of the biggest mistakes I see is, is uh, home you know buyers start looking at houses that are a little bit beyond what they can really afford and once you start seeing those houses and then you move back down to what you can actually afford there's there's a lot of times a big disappointment factor and it, it, it really it changes your mindset you want to know what you can afford and you want to look at houses that are in your price range and for first-time home buyers well there are a lot of programs out there to help out down payments and and uh, financing rates and different things um, state uh, has some programs there's the, you know, different counties different things there, there's all kinds of, of, of things to look into uh, most uh, mortgage companies have uh, some products for uh, first-time home buyers which uh, will help out a lot so um, take advantage of all those things and uh, we'll see you next month